Hey, what's going on guys? Jarmy Demon here and today I'm bringing you guys a commentary about the diamond specials because yesterday I just got my last gold special that I needed which was the crossbow. So this is going to give you a bit, little bit of advice and stuff like that. So let's get right into it. So we're going to start with the crossbow here. Um, you're going to need 300 kills, 1 double kill medal, 5 revenge medals, get 1 kill from exploding a car with the crossbow, 1 bloodthirsty medal which is 5 kills without dying. You're going to get a kill with every round in your clip which there's 3 so you're going to get... Three kills with three bullets without reloading, which is kind of hard, but um, I mean, obviously it's doable. Um, and then here's some tips I can give you guys. Um, you always want to play hardcore when you're trying to get this. It's definitely recommended to do that because when you stick somebody, they instantly die. So that's a big bonus for playing hardcore. Um, also, when you unlock the dual band scope for this, you definitely want to use it. It's better than the reflex, better than the ACOG, or anything else that you can put on this. It's really super good. Um, also, when your enemy is on the move and you're trying to stick them, you want to lead your arrow a little above and in front of your enemy for the best results of sticking them. So let's get right into the combat knife. Uh, you gotta get 200 kills before you can get any of these next challenges. So um, you're gonna knife your enemy uh, 10 times in the back, which are the backstabber medals. You're gonna get uh, five survivor medals, which you get those at the same time as the bloodthirsty medals. You're gonna get five revenge medals. Uh, you're gonna kill five enemies with their own weapon after killing them with the combat knife, which basically you have to kill them with, like, you know, stab them. And then you have to pick up their gun and then kill them, which is pretty hard because you don't know where they spawned or where they are on the map. So um, that's definitely one of the harder challenges for this. Um, next thing, you're going to get five uh, bloodthirsty medals, which is five kills to get one. So like you have to get like five kills and then die or something and then do it again. It's pretty hard. And another thing too, um, when you're when you're trying to you know get these knife kills, I don't know if you guys play on default or uh, or tactical. But instead of pressing the thumbstick or B to knife, you can actually press the right trigger to melee, which I find really super uh, good. I mean, it's really effective because I play on tactical and pressing B is really, uh, you know, it really fucks my uh, my stick layout up. Oh, it doesn't fuck it up. It just like, you know, it's really inconvenient. So it definitely helps to press that. Another thing too, you always want to use ghost and extreme conditioning because you don't want to be seen when you're trying to knife people. And the extreme conditioning is always good because you want to run run for longer distances. So let's get right into the assault shield here. Um, you gotta you gotta get 100 kills with the assault shield, which I said you need to do this for the crossbow. You but you definitely need to do this for the assault shield because instead of being two bashes to kill them in hardcore, it's only one. So it's so much easier to get those 100 kills. Next thing is get 1,000 score from blocking enemy fire. So like when somebody's shooting at you, you just want to you just want to sit there and let uh, just take the damage because it gives you points. Um, you want to get 25 hatchet kills while having the assault shield equipped and in your hands, which um, basically you just got to have it, you know, like as your primary gun and then you just got to have your hatchet and uh, you just got to get kills with that basically. Um, next thing is, is get 25 shield bash medals by killing the player who is shooting at your assault shield, which er usually everybody shoots at you when you're, you know, right in front of them. Uh, next thing is get 25 kills with the assault shield with no perks equipped, which is very, very easy. And so is the next one. Get 25 kills with the assault shield with no weapons equipped. That's super easy. It should have no problem. Um, and here's some tips. Again, you just want to play hardcore. That's the only tips I have for this because, I mean, honestly, the I think I would say the right shit out of all these are, is the easiest to get. Okay, and here we are with the last one, guys, the ballistic knife. You gotta get 300 ballistic knife uh, kills. You need to get 5 revenge kills. Uh, you need to get 25 melee kills with a ballistic knife, which is just easy because it's like the same thing as the combat knife, which you can, by the way, you cannot um, use the right trigger because the right trigger actually does, shoots the blade. So you have to use, you know, either B or the, or the right stick, depending on what you play on your um, stick layout. That next is uh, get 25 kills with uh, blades that you retrieved after shooting them. So you have to shoot a blade and then retrieve it and then you have to get killed with that. Um, that's not too bad. It's just a lot of running and stuff. Um, you want to get one double kill medal and then two bloodthirsty medals, which is five kills again without dying. Um, and a little bit of tips is the same thing as a crossbow. You want to lead your blade a little bit in front of the enemy. Um, and always want to use ghost and extreme condition as, as the same with the uh, combat knife. I would say for all these to use uh, to use all to use ghosts because I use ghosts on all my classes. I mean, who does it nowadays, right? So, anyways, guys, I hope that you guys found this in, uh, really. Uh, informational because I mean it does take me a little bit to put this together and I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did make sure to give me a like and uh, subscribe if you're new I hope you guys have a great day peace